I'll be cooking sambar today using the MTR sambar powder. The first thing we need to do is cook the tuwar dal. Take about 600 ml of water. Put it on high flame. Put 45 grams of tuwar dal, about a pinch of turmeric and half a teaspoon of oil. Give it a stir. Bring it to a boil and cook it till it is nice and well cooked. While the dal is getting ready, I'll get the sambar paste ready. For this, I'll be using the MTR sambar powder. I would be taking a tablespoon of sambar powder, little bit of coconut, little bit of jaggery, and just add some water. It should be a fine paste. Let me see. And it looks done. As you can see, it's all blended well. The coconut, the jaggery, the sambar powder. Now, I'll go back to the dal. And our dal is perfectly done. It's time to add the paste to the dal. You saw how easy it was to make this paste. Had I not used the sambar powder by MTR, I would have to grind all the spices, it would take me a lot of time. And the consistency of flavor would also vary. So in this, I would get the same flavor every time I would make sambar. Just stir it around. What a lovely color. Mix in the sambar paste well. Remove all the lumps that come. Colors come out beautiful. After blending in the sambar paste, I'll be adding some pre-cooked vegetables. I'm adding onions, some tomatoes, potatoes, pumpkin, and loki. Traditionally, onion, tomato, and potatoes are always added to a sambar. Other than that, you can add any vegetable that you want to add, like drumsticks, brinjals, ladyfinger, carrots. After adding the vegetables, I'll be adding some tamarind juice. You can add it according to your taste. And a little bit of salt to taste. Now we have to let it boil for about 5 minutes. Sambar is a vegetable stew. It has its origin from south and each state in south has a different variation to it. We have to let it boil so all the flavors and spices can get into the vegetables too. It's been boiling for about 5 minutes and I think it's almost ready. Just before taking it off the stove, I'll make a tadka. In a tadka pan, take about half teaspoon of oil. Let it get hot. So I'll be adding some mustard seeds. They are totally spluttering. Add in the curry leaves. And add it to your sambar. The curry leaves give it a lovely colour. And they are the essence of the sambar. The real flavour comes from the curry leaves. And the sambar is ready. Let's serve. Sambar is usually served with piping hot boiled rice or it's even eaten with varas, idlis and dosas. We finally garnish it with some coriander leaves and our very hot and very delicious sambar is ready.